Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another quick five minute tip in Photoshop. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of digital painting. A lot of people have asked how to digital paint in Photoshop. So I wanna give you a quick tip on how to paint a tree uh, using Photoshop. So I've got this background image right here. This was taken directly off of unsplash.com. It's a free stock uh, website you can use, or you can use your own picture as well. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and duplicate this layer. And I wanna get rid of this tree. I don't want this tree in here. I want to draw my own tree. And uh, so I don't want this one here. I'm just going to draw a lasso tool around it just like that. Shift and F5 will bring up a content aware fill. Click OK. And now your tree is gone. And so what we're going to do now is create a new layer on top of it, name it tree. And we're going to paint our very own tree right in that spot. All right, before we start drawing our tree, we really need to pick out what color we want. So I'm gonna go back to that original image and just sample that color of that tree. It's kind of like a dark brown gray color. And uh, so that's what I want to paint this tree as. But the next thing I want to do is go and adjust my brush settings. The first thing I want to do is go up here to the top, make sure your pressure sensitivity is checked off. So you do not want that. Uh, and then go to your brush dialog box and go to your shape dynamics uh, tab here. And we're gonna to change the control from pin pressure to fade. So when you do that, what it's going to do is it's going to fade this brush stroke out from 100% uh, full to 0%. And uh, you can change the settings here, you know, 200 or 500, or you can go all the way up to 1000 and just play around with it. And uh, you can make some really cool uh, strokes that get skinnier and skinnier as you draw them. So to start off with this tree drawing, make sure you're on the right layer, the tree layer. And I'm gonna start it off at about 1500 for my fade. I'm gonna start my tree about right here and I'm just gonna just draw a little uh, line going straight up to the top, just like that. So this is gonna be like my first uh, branch that I'm drawing all the way from the trunk of the tree up to the top of the tree. And then I'm just gonna do it again, go right back down here and then maybe I'll have one going off to the right side. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just kind of build up this trunk so the trunk is nice and thick, but you also have little uh, branches going up into the sky and they're getting skinnier and skinnier um, as you do that. After I do that for a while, I'll change my uh, fade down to maybe like 500, and then I'll start down here and uh, have a little bit shorter strokes and shorter branches. But what I want to do is just, I want to make um, a lot of different branches coming out and getting skinnier and skinnier and uh, just experimenting with this different fade levels. Now, I highly recommend that you look at other uh, pictures of trees to kind of get a reference onto what you're, you know, you're going for. But obviously, the trunk is going to be the thickest part of the tree. And as you get further away from the trunk, the, uh, the branches get smaller and smaller and they start diverging out. Um, and so make your brush size smaller um, and experiment with it. And so you want to make sure that uh, it looks like uh, an actual tree. Don't make straight lines like this. You definitely don't want straight lines. You want to have some little crooked branches going in different directions, make it look organic and uh, just some spend some time on this and uh, just make it look as uh, realistic as you can, trying to get all these little twigs going in the right directions. Um, but just have fun with it. Look at other references to trees. Uh, but this brush uh, fade uh, technique is really helpful trying to create these, these tree branches and tree limbs uh, like this. All right, after you have the tree exactly the way you want it, then we're gonna make a few other tweaks to it. The first thing I want to do is make a layer mask on top of this tree. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mask out a little bit of a grass blades down here at the bottom. Uh, that way, so it looks like it's blending in with the grass below. We can also add a little shadow, just get a, a nice little soft brush and uh, paint a little bit of black down here and change your opacity a lot lower. So it looks like there's a little shadow down there on the ground. And uh, then what we want to do is we want to add some highlights to the edge of this tree. So let's go to your FX panel, click on inner shadow. And what you want to do is you want to change it to white instead of black. So now our shadow is a highlight and uh, you want to just adjust the, uh, the distance and the shadow and the size of the shadow to make it look like it is just a highlight on the left side of here. We're just giving it a little bit more depth and a little bit more dimension by doing this. All right, now what we want to do is add some texture to this tree. So I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to call it Tree Textures. 
and I'm going to control click the tree. So we have this marching ants going around it and on the tree texture, I'm going to hit my layer mask button and now everything I hit inside of this group is going to have uh, this tree shape into it. Now to get textures for a tree, it's really nice to go to like unsplash.com, find like pictures of trees and tree bark and just uh, select that out with the lasso tool. And so you have this texture, copy and paste it on its own layer. So now you have this nice little uh, tree texture that you can bring in into this group. So when we bring it into this group of the tree textures, it is uh, blocked into that shape. So we've got our texture into it. So now what we need to do is duplicate it and uh, bring it throughout the entire tree. To do that, you just want to uh, make it different sizes. So I'm going to use, use this part for the trunk, just like that. So click my check mark, hit Control J, and that's going to make a, a copy of it. Then I'm just going to bring it up here to uh, this branch right here, just like that and control J again and copy and paste. And so that's essentially what we're doing is you're taking that same tree texture and you're just kind of mapping this tree. So it's gonna take a few layers to do this, uh, make it smaller and smaller as you go up the tree, but control J on your keyboard to make a copy. As long as you're in this group of the tree textures, um, it's gonna maintain that shape. So just fill this entire tree up with that texture and then we'll move on to the final step of this tutorial. All right, guys, we're pretty much done. I've masked the entire uh, tree. I've got all of these textures going all over the branches of this, this tree texture, but it's a little bit too intense. You can see how uh, contrasty it is. If we look back at that original tree, it's mostly in silhouette, and uh, you don't see all of that, um, that detail in there. So what I would like to do is just take your tr tree textures, change the opacity down just a little bit, maybe to like 40 or 50%. And that way it's not quite as contrasty. It's not quite as detailed and it looks like it fits more in the scene. If you want to do more edits to the tree, you can always just uh, put all of them into a group and then you can do like levels adjustments on them uh, to make them brighter or darker or uh, whatever you need to do to make sure it fits the scene. But guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you use a the brush tool uh, to draw your own tree and it's a a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what you guys can create using these techniques. Thanks guys.